Welcome back to What's Up Cuz. How do your boys feel about their sister having a boyfriend? But I would be doing the same thing! Yes. You don't get along with me, there's a problem. <laughs> your family's opinion matters. Buddy had unexpected foot surgery. If you like the guy, go talk to him. That's probably the advice I would've gave too, I have to say. No, not at all. I raised her well, yeah. Erica. You made a good call. That's how I would approach it. She gets the days, I get the nights. Before she goes, I wanna answer this first. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to What's Up Cuz. I am your co-host, Erica Spera. And I'm Lisa Velastro. And we have another great episode for you guys this week. We have another special guest for you. Uh, I've worked with him before. He's very, very funny. You might've seen him all over social media. Everybody, please welcome Eric D'Alessandro. Yeah, right. yeah. Wow, that's very, that was like, uh, yeah. I am on Johnny Carson. Yeah. That was great. <laughs> thank whole, you for joining us. Of course, thank you for having me. Yeah, very excited to have you. I met you a couple months back. Yeah, what was that West Nyack we worked? Yeah, together? worked lovely yeah. live. You're mm -hmm. torn all over, so go look him up, go see him. Yes, please. Uh, but I had a great time working with you. You're a great guy. I was like, he's an honorary cuz. Of the nice, pod. yeah, that's what I like. You get to get to join part in. of the family. Yes. Right. I am. I am a paisan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got in. So that's good. There you go. Well, welcome. <laughs> uh, but as always, we start with some type of update. So, uh, what's new, Lisa? What's going on this week? What's going on this week? My husband is driving me crazy watching this friggin' Game of Thrones. <laughs> What? Mm. And apparently it's like something that's been out for years. Oh, yeah. yeah. People have been telling him to watch it and he just decides now to start watching it when they're like eight seasons in, like 15 episodes a season or 10 episodes, mm -hmm. hours long. And, you know, I'm trying, Erica. I'm I'm really, <laughs> I'm really trying. Let me ask you a question. Did This is his first time watching it. Yes. So no, it, it ended like well, how many years ago? That's what my question was when you first told me. I was like, Wait, there's the new Game of Thrones that's out. Yes. And then there's the original Game of Thrones series. Okay, so apparently this new Game of Thrones is what sparked the talk again. Yep. Got it. And he's just started watching it. And now he tells me after he's done watching the original Game of Thrones, we're going to watch the new Game of Thrones. The new one. Oh, boy. And I don't know if you watched my last podcast episodes with, you know, who has control, the real control here at night. Mm -hmm. And the deal that my husband and I have that I get it during the day and he gets the remote control at night. Okay. Okay. Not fair at all. <laughs> but <laughs> um, guess what I'm watching every night. Okay. Do you, so, under do you understand what they're saying? I don't. I'm really trying. That was my problem with that show. And my question to him was, there is so much killing that occurs. How is there people still left to film? They, I th I, one of the things I think about that show is they kill people off really early too. Yeah. yeah. Like, like the main character, I mm -hmm. think dies in the opening scene or something like that. I don't know if that's specific. I was kidding about that, but someone dies big. I have never seen them. So I'm trying. If, if it's spoiler alert, it's been over for like yeah. 20 <laughs> years. So yeah, I I'm trying, but <laughs> did you ever get into it? I tried. Everyone says the same thing. Okay. You I must couldn't. like this. So it's not just me. No. Oh, and it was I'm so happy to hear that. No, it's a show that I was sitting there being like, I would need someone that's a fan of the show to sit next to me and explain mm -hmm. and point out because they're long episodes. It's hard to understand. Everything ties, but like you said, there's several scenes that I didn't watch the show, but you would hear about it from mm -hmm. everyone. Yeah, where they'd yeah. be like, well, and then suddenly just everyone's dead. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just new cast the next episode, next season. I, I don't know. It's just way too much going on. Yeah. And the allure too fell, I, I think most fans, I don't know. Again, I've never seen them, but I've seen memes that like have the first six seasons were incredible. And the last two sucked. I think that's what the fans say. That's a lot of times. Which I don't yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. Again, but I don't know what thy brethren is nigh means. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't know. I was like, even with the subtitles, I didn't understand yeah. what was happening. I'm impressed that you even remembered that verse. <laughs> so my friend was like, oh, he said the king was going to get killed. And I was like, when did he say that? And I didn't know. No, they were just, they, they were watching a different show than me. Yeah, I guess. exactly. I don't Listen, know what it meant. And, and not to like, but some of the things that occur in there, like, I, I have to turn my head because technically like the brother and sister are together having yeah. children. Ooh. Uh, you know, just yeah. the thought of like, just, I, I can't. I yeah. just can't. I, I'm trying, but I can't. So, so you know, Buddy went to Vegas this past week and I said, do me a favor. Can you download the rest of the episodes so you could watch <laughs> them on your way there and home? So mm. when you come home, we don't, have to watch it anymore. I yeah. think that's mean. I don't know. Like catch up? Yeah. No, I get it. There's Well, there's nothing like having a show you're watching with someone. Yeah. It makes it exciting and even better. Mm -hmm. But it, I, it's torture. And it's a show you can't stand. Oh. You're like, and we're going to watch it. You're like, we? Exactly. It's got to be we. But I, you know, I, I just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God for cell phones. I know. <laughs> it's good to have your own show too. 
You know, it is. That can be healthy. Yeah. Well, I was like, have you ever encountered you are watching a show with someone and you catch the other person cheating and watching ahead? It's never happened. I think that's grounds for dismissal if it ever did. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's like grounds for calling off a wedding? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Speaking blame Speaking about wedding, I heard that your wedding is coming up. Uh. Yes, it is. Uh, we are, le- we are uh, less than a month away now. So wow. I will be changing my name and moving to... Nicaragua. <laughs> I don't know. I'm oh, excited. I, I yeah, I'm excited about it. Yeah. I've been with her with her for a really long time, and uh, you know, I I'm a gal who loves a good suit, so I'm just, I'm just excited to wear my tuxedo. Yeah. Can yes. I can I ask? Sure. What parts of the wedding planning have you actively had a hand in doing? I am. So I talk about this a lot on stage, but I am what women say they would want a guy to be. Like, okay. I like home goods. I like having a say in the house. But what I found out is that that's not what women want. They, <laughs> they say they want a guy with opinions. And then when you give opinions, they say, I'm not interested in this. Go play monster trucks outside. Go let, let the yeah. ladies discuss this. Because God forbid I have some say on what the color scheme should be. Does that get taken seriously? Of course not. Anything that I would like is just ridiculed. I get made fun <laughs> of. I'm not allowed to have opinions. So I've tried, but... I just say, whatever then, I guess, do whatever you want. But she, she's great. And I, the thing that I've actually given input on, she asks for, um, you know, colors and stuff like that. Uh, how much money she should spend on the flowers. I'm like, does it matter what I say? <laughs> so, you know, I try, I try to be involved, but I found out that you get burned as a guy. They don't actually want you to listen. They want you to just sit there in silence not have any solutions and just, okay, you live in that reality then. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mention maybe you were wrong in your friend's argument. I'm just going to say, you're right, honey. You're right. <laughs> no, see, I think we like your opinions. It's just, we want to just make the final decision. Yeah. I disagree. Com- I disagree completely. <laughs> I don't think you do. No? no, I think that it's like, uh, I think that women have won the war and they forgot that 20 years ago. They still feel like you're, 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 you're battling it, but it's like, wait a minute, let's turn around and realize all my soldiers are dead and you guys are basically, everyone's doing what you say and no one's talking about it, but no, here, we are, here we are with women and um, they disagree with me. So how, how convenient That's it? is that? Nothing, not even like the music, <laughs> the food. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, the food. Okay. I did. I, so some stuff. I, I'm like, oh, we should get that. Like, well, I think maybe we should do that. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't care. The DJ is a friend of mine, so that's that's okay. my, you my got thing. Music. She's letting me pick what song we walk out to. She let me pick uh, the videographer I approved of because I'm an editor by nature and I yeah. want to basically edit my own video. Oh, nice. So um, yeah, stuff like that. There you go. We're, we're a really good team. Like, we're like a real, what I believe is like what a relationship should be. Not to give myself credit, but I think yeah. that more people should wait till they find a real, like, soulmate, as they say. So I, I, I love her with all my heart. And there's, I don't think I'd be with a woman who tried to boss me around like that. No, no, I don't no, think no. that that works. No, no. Or, and I wouldn't want to boss, boss her around either. Yeah. Just no. so we could. Is That's that clear? In 2022, is that clear? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, you don't want to date someone with no opinion. Yeah, right? That's maybe not. You want a little. Yeah, you, know. you want a little bit of a. I know some girls who don't want any opinions. Back and forth. Uh, I know some girls who made their, who picked out their groom's tux and he wanted to wear something else and she said no. I'm like, well, that's going to be, that sounds like a great time. No, I think a guy should wear whatever the hell he wants Thank to wear. Thank you. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't want, don't want him telling me what the hell yeah. I have to wear. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't know. That's just the way my husband and I are. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's the way it should be. I get it. You know, when I walk down the stairs, I want his opinion. Like, how do I look? Right. There's times that he says great. And there's times that uh, I could tell, like, uh, all right, I'll <laughs> go not put doing something it. else on. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, if it's not doing it for you, I'm going to go upstairs and get changed. <laughs> right, right, right. That's good. I, th- I like that. I think that's healthy. I think that's yeah. nice, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, I've been married now going on 21 years. All right. Congrats. I'm going strong. So yeah. all right. something's working, right? Yeah. <laughs> It, it could also be the bowling alley downstairs. <laughs> it could also be it. <laughs> the bowling alley that almost took my poor husband's hand off. <laughs> yeah, I mean, truly. Yeah. Is it the bowling alley? Is it not? Um, all right. Well, we have some emails here that we're going to get to for today. So thank you guys again for sending in your questions. You want to send us a question. It's what's up cuts pod 
at gmail.com. That's what's up, cuz P-O-D at gmail.com. So we got some wedding ones that I thought would be fun to have oh you boy. do here. Okay. okay. Specifically this I'm one. I'm the wedding guy now. This is great. <laughs> no, I, mean, I just thought it'd be <laughs> I'm fun. I'm kidding. It's fine. Listen, this one is called Wedding Invites. Look, it's right. fine. Wait, before am... you get to the question, I'm going to I'm gonna just tell you this. Once okay. the wedding's over, it's going to be like, so where are the babies? Oh, yeah, I know that already. Uh, so, so get ready for those questions. Yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm a nightmare to deal with. So people just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So wedding invites. Let's see. Dear Cuz, I have a friend I've known for 15 years. We went to college together. We also randomly ended up working for the same employer. We don't work directly with each other, but cross paths daily. We've been working there for about 10 years. We used to go on breaks together for every six, about for every six years, but eventually I faded the relationship. Long story short, she was taking advantage of my kindness and crossed a lot of boundaries. She was more of a friend of me and it had a negative effect on my self-esteem. I never told her I was officially done with our close friendship because we still had to work together. I strategically just lowered our contact and kind of slow faded. Now I have to figure out if I should invite her to my wedding. If I don't, she will be hurt and I have to cross paths with her every day. She considers me one of her oldest friends. She says, if I don't invite her, then I can't invite friends who I actually find fun and are kind to me. What would you do? Would you invite frenemies or friends you aren't close to anymore but have to see all the time just to keep the peace? Any advice would be appreciated. Thanks. So let's, hear, let, let's hear what you guys have to say about that. First. Well, I was like, basically, she's saying she feels like if she doesn't want to invite this girl, then she has to not invite like all the other college friends. Is what it sounds like, which is it sounds. This is usually how people plan oh, weddings. Ivey. They're like, where's the cutoff? <laughs> is it all the college friends? Is it none of the college friends? Is it all the cousins? None of the cousins. All uh, right. Let's wipe out the question, because for me, I'm the type of person that. First of all, this whole phasing out of a relationship phase, it's not me. Yeah. If I have a problem with someone, I nip it in the butt from day one. Mm. Something occurred on this down the road line with these two that she wants to phase out of the relationship. See, that wouldn't occur with me. If somebody did something to me, I want to sit down with them and say, what's going on? Let's clear the air. If we can't clear it, then it's cut off from then on. No phasing. There's mm -hmm. no phasing. That's just the way I am. But obviously she's a phaser. <laughs> I mean, I get mm. it of you work together. So you got to run into each other. So you're like, I want it to be polite. I don't want it to so be nasty. So then sit down and talk about it. But yeah. Be be the work environment. Be the mature people that mm -hmm. you should be. This to me is more like high school. Stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. Like literally you have to pass each other in the hallways. That yeah. is the vibe. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I don't know. She already passed the way of what I would have been done. But if I was now in her position, I would probably have a sit down with her now at this point and explain why they're at the phase where they are today. Yeah. And if she really doesn't feel like inviting her to the damn wedding, don't invite her. I, I mean, mean, it's I'm, your wedding. <laughs> I don't know. You want to go? Let's I'm go with the wedding. You, with, you know, what's going you on? You had to send out invites. <laughs> I, I have no, not only do I not shy away from confrontation, <laughs> I thrive in it. <laughs> yeah. I'm somebody who I challenge every social norm there is. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why anyone does anything. So when it's strange to me, I love talking about it. I guess people are uncomfortable. I, I will say, I don't want to sound sexist in any way, but yeah, women, yeah. more or more than men, I would say, have fake relationships with their I girlfriends, agree. Yeah. right? I agree, no, I agree. 100%. So me and my friends, I, it's right to the point. Mm -hmm. We're brutal with each other. It's right on the table. Like if I was... I, I, I know that it's, it's like kind of bad advice to just tell someone to be confrontational because people get really uncomfortable. But like, it, to, I, if I was her, I wouldn't invite her. I'd invite all of my real friends. And when the girl yep. says something, be like, oh, we're not friends. <laughs> you thought we were friends? And then be confused and be yeah. like, and then the more the girl would just start feeling stupid. Like, oh, we're not? Like, when was the last time we hung out? Six years ago. Okay. Yeah. When was the last time we had a break together? Six years ago. So what the mm -hmm. hell are you talking about? Yeah. Why are you mentioning this to me? Mm -hmm. Especially oh, no. with COVID times, I thought it made it very aware of who really are your friends, who are people you really yeah. talk to, keep mm -hmm. in touch with, that check on you. you I want to hear the boundaries them. too. What boundaries was yeah. this? Yeah, I mean, because then it's like so you got you got an out right there. You got receipts. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. I can't trust you. No, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm all for it. don't invite this person personally, but I'm like you. Confrontation does not scare me. It doesn't bother me. I don't care that I have to see you at work. I'm like, I don't want you at the wedding. It's the same for. I mean, you know, if she's doing a bachelorette party. I'd assume also, well, are the college friends you're inviting, like, and this girl would be in the group if you include her, I assume. But it's like, do you want your bachelorette party? 
not as fun because someone's there you don't want to be around. It's not worth it. People who have yeah. too many friends bother me. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't, you can't, you can't have that many friends. I'm sorry, you no. can't. If, you're, if, you're, if your bride, if your groomsmen are 30 guys and your, your bridesmaids are 30 women, there's just, there's, there's people in there you're never going to talk to again. What are we doing here? I, I got, yeah. I got four friends. I've known them since kindergarten. That's all you need, really, you know, and a, and a therapist. It's really all you need. <laughs> what else do you need it's in life? It's so true. I had 32 people in my bridal party. I How many of them did you have lunch with last week? A handful. There That's you it. go. <laughs> and it's been the ones That's that you it. probably knew were going to be the exactly. same handful. Right. It's so true. But it comes from, you don't want to leave people out. So I get it. You don't want to leave people out. You don't want to have that confrontation, but I'm like, I mean, I, there was someone I was friends with through the college friends and I would only hang out with in the group of college friends. And there was a few times that she like kind of threw temper tantrums or would make scenes and all this stuff that I was like, this is so not me. I don't like it. And then there finally was like a final straw one for me where I was like, you know what? I was like, I don't care. I'm not reaching out to this person anymore. I'm not hanging out with them. And, and want to know why? Cause I thought, you know what? Someday I'm going to be getting married. Do I want her at my wedding? And my answer was no. And I was like, so basically the friendship would end then or I just end it now. And I was like, yeah. now. Yeah. Then I'd rather just end it now. I'm exactly. Like, well, I go through another weekend of hanging out where I have to worry about this person making a scene and I'm not having a fun time. You You're know? right. So I'm all for I'm all for cutting it out whenever. I'm you all want. for cutting as many people as possible. <laughs> yes, I, mean, I let's, agree. Let's be real. I, I I don't get it. I don't get people who are offended when they're not invited. When I'm not invited to a wedding. I'm celebrating. I'm like, oh my God, thank you, bro. Now, now I'm going to send yeah. you an extra gift yeah. for not inviting me to the wedding. Who's, who's sitting around thinking like, how empty is your life? They're like, oh man, especially people our age. Yeah, you kidding me? I don't. It's like the adult sweet, sweet 16 generation. It's like, I don't, I, I have one every weekend. I don't want to go to any of them. Yeah. I'm, I'm not even your friend. Why are we doing this? I don't know why this is happening. I feel you. I'm celebrating when I'm not invited to a wedding. And I guess, I guess other people are different. It depends. It's nice to see everyone, but there's some oh, I've been yeah. invited to. What as are you? Well. What are you? What are you healthy? What, the hell, what kind of comedian are you? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm. I'm good. If I don't get an invite, it's one okay. extra Saturday or Sunday. Exactly. Got, yeah. Right. Oh, is that mean to say? No. It's, it's why is it to mean? Travel. It's mean because social norms make no sense. Yeah. That's why it's mean. I know. Well, there have been some I've been invited to, and I was sitting there being like. I couldn't believe I made the cut. And then when I went, I was like, oh, they don't have a huge family. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was like, my family alone is so many people. Mm -hmm. My mom is one of 11. Oh, my yeah. God. Okay. <laughs> so have, how many people are you having at your wedding? Ex exactly. Yeah. I, have, I have to hope I hit the lottery so I can invite my cousins. <laughs> so forgive me for not wanting my work friend I don't yeah. talk to. I mean, just make, the, yeah, there you go. Just lie. Say you have a huge family. You didn't make the cut. Yeah. That's it. All of our other friends did, but I I drew straws. And since you suck now, <laughs> you didn't make it. Well, I've gone to some weddings and I've told them, I've been like, look, my family's huge. You might not make the cut for mine. And it has nothing to do with me not mm -hmm. liking you. You are my friend. But I'm like, the family's huge. Yeah. that's I don't know where the cutoff's going to be within the family or if there is even allowed to be one. So my, yeah, my mom also will pull the thing about like, if you invite that, but if you, if you invite that cousin, you got to invite that cousin. It's like, well, this cousin I talk to all the time. Yeah. I don't know this cousin's birthday or middle name uh -huh. or, or age. Mm -hmm. See, that's old school. I feel like now now people aren't so much that way. It's true because when I got married, I had 475 people at my wedding. That's and crazy. I want to say about 75% of them, people that I didn't even know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she she was she was printing the invitation. Uh, she was we're doing these uh what were we doing? We we made we made we made um we made our invitations. They're very like personalized, and then we put like a a, a stamp on the back, like the wax. Oh my god, the wax stamp! It was a yeah. lot of fun. That's work. Yeah. And uh, we're we're a DIY couple, <laughs> so uh, she printed out a name, and I'm like, who the hell is this? She's like, oh, this is your mom's whatever. I'm like, this lady. I don't even. I don't think I've ever met her before. <laughs> Why is she at my wedding? <laughs> I mean, I I gotta be honest. Another person, I was like, I'm I I was convinced she was dead like six years ago. <laughs> Full Didn't night. know she was alive. And now she's <laughs> going to be at my wedding. Is it an empty chair? What do we do? Do we put like a candle? What do we do? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, what are boy. we doing? I don't know. I mean, That's come so on. That's funny. I, th I don't know. It's just crazy to me. It's Don't invite her. Yeah, but don't. Listen, don't invite her and wait for the wait for her to say Because she's not going to say anything. She's not going to say anything to her. Why don't you invite me to your wedding? No. She's, if anything, she's going to not. What, you ever seen a Bronx tale? Yes. Mm -hmm. What's it called? What does he owe you? $20. There you go. $20 is out of your life. Yeah. Now yeah. this girl, one less invite. She's going to be so mad. She's not going to speak to you anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Yeah. Easy. 
He's yeah, I think that's what's ro- wrong with our world right now. So everyone's worried. Like, you know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Who cares? It's a presentation. Mm. Yeah. Of of a perfect life. It's like, well, if that's not our relationship, that's not our relationship. What's the big deal? I don't get, I don't get, I didn't have a bachelor party because I don't care. It's like, what am I going to do? Go to, I don't even, I don't drink. I don't gamble. I don't like strippers. I mean, I'm sure I would like one, but <laughs> I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to drink. It's like, yeah. what am I going to Vegas for? Because the image of this is what guys do. They go to Vegas. I didn't understand any of it. You don't I have agree. A hundred percent. Yeah. I've seen the bachelorettes that are like, it's like just a spa weekend of like, Relaxing, getting massages. I'm like, sign me up. There you sign go, me up right? for that. I'm like, I would Boom. so happily do that. Oh man. Yeah. Let me tell you, I see some of these weddings now and and these bachelorette parties. It's like, it's a commitment. Yep. It's not just like a night dinner with the girls. It's a friggin' commitment. Mm-hmm. It went from a long weekend. Now I see that they're like five days long. Now they're in Mexico. And I'm like, please don't ask me to be in your wedding. I can't commit. No. <laughs> it's just too much. I don't know how I don't know how girls my age. I mean, now I know how OnlyFans started. They got to make a little extra cash yeah. just to uh. pay for this freaking weekend in Nashville <laughs> because Brittany thinks she's a princess and I have to spend 20 grand to go. I have, to, I have to go to Nashville and then take a private jet to Dubai because she's getting married. Yeah. What are we What What are we doing? I don't know. You know, I keep hearing about this OnlyFans. I don't know exactly what it is, but that's like the first time I heard about it. Oh, what you like don't know, to know what this is? What exactly is it? Okay, well. Well, Erica, you want to take, wanna take this one? <laughs> uh, all right. Well, this it's primarily. Now I feel really old. It's cause primarily I'm used for like porn type of stuff. Oh. And, but you make it of it's your page. It's private. Uh-huh. People can pay a subscription fee every month to have access to see whatever you're posting. So it varies of what people post. Some people it's videos. Some people it's pictures. Some people you pay to just talk to them. Yeah, some people it's just feet. It's whatever. So like that's the primarily. Feet? Did you say feet? Yeah, some people are just feet. Feet pics. People have things for feet, you know. Like feet. Yep, just feet. <laughs> that's it. The feet. The feet. Just your feet. They got guys with foot fetishes. There's 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 armpit fetishes. There's oh my God. fart <laughs> fetishes. Did you hear about the fart? Remember the the fart oh girl? Oh god, I don't know if I heard about this one. This girl. Um, in the jar? Is this the yeah. thing? What oh, has this world She had an OnlyFans. <laughs> see, that's the thing. See, back back in the day, if you had a weird fetish, I guess you went to like Amsterdam or New York and you found someone to like- Basically. Show you their foot under a bridge. Oh my but God. But now there's a whole ecosystem and a, and a, and a whole, yeah. there's, there's a currency based yeah. around it. Like you can pay someone on OnlyFans to specifically make a video like just for you if you want to. Like yeah. It's, it's uh, a rubbing wild honey world. all over yourself or- yeah. and People pay for this stuff. Oh, people of? are making millions. On are you pants. kidding me? Millions. When did this wait? When did this thing come up? Like when uh, did it start? It was right. But it was before the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, I think oh, I know a girl. We're on talking there. years. Yeah. This is no. This has been. Out. It's wow. basically like Instagram for kinks or just may, maybe just good old fashioned porn too. Yeah. Not and, safe for watching content. And then you have to pay to see the content, and then you could, like she said, you could speak to the the creator. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if there's a woman that has a big following of being like an Instagram model, mm-hmm. maybe she does something salacious behind the paywall. And would you like to see that? Here's $10 a uh-huh. month. You can see me do X, Y, and Z. There's a teacher who quit her job because her OnlyFans was making so much money. Yeah. Are you? So she was like, I guess, a hot teacher started to finesse mm-hmm. herself uh, publicly, or not publicly, but for her only fans. <laughs> and it did so well that she retired or just does that full time and it makes like I millions need to close of dollars. My mouth. I'm speechless right now. <laughs> I can't believe you never heard of this. That's oh, again, I've heard of the name OnlyFans. Like, this yeah. is like the third time I heard it. So I was just, now I want to yeah. know what the hell is it. But now I really don't know if I wanted to know what the hell it was. Well, well, here's the thing you can put technically anything you want behind this PayPal, right? That it doesn't have to be porn. But the reputation of the site is porn. Mm-hmm. And I've actually gotten emails about podcasts up being like, oh, we have audio now. You could you could have a bonus episode every week on OnlyFans. I'm like, but if you think I would walk around oh and my say, oh, I have an OnlyFans. No, it's for my podcast. I'm like, no one would believe me. Like everyone would be eh, like, sure. Give it two years. That'll be sure. what everybody's doing. You know what I mean yeah, though? Yeah. But I was kind of wow. like, uh, to publicly say it, there's such a stigma to it of people would be okay. like, so you're doing porn? It's like, no, my podcast, you know? I was just like, eh. So can an OnlyFans account be like- It could be anything you me want. Me cooking? It could. It honestly could. Like, like people would want to watch that? Yeah. Hmm. That's a good question, though. What's the difference between that and Patreon? Why would, you know what I mean? Like, 
it's I think Patreon. Uh, I think you are technically allowed to do like not safe for watching 18 and up, but it's just not known for it as much. But it technically is the same thing. Patreon. And yeah, are I mean, technically it technically is just pay per view. It's yeah. technically just that. Yeah. Okay. But of course, it's more geared towards adult film stars and like uh, there have been who's that girl? Bad Bobby. Yeah, the, yeah. remember the Cash Me Outside girl? Did you ever see that girl she, on Doctor Phil? You know, you know, you know. Where do you live? <laughs> She's not really yeah. on social media. I had you're, four kids. You are yeah. not old. You, I, I'm no, I'm definitely not old. But I had my kids young, and I've been inundated with all their crap. I guess, but like that, I don't know that. That, that girl was on Doctor Phil. That girl Phil. was on bus signs. I don't, I didn't watch yeah. Doctor Phil, but it just freaking entered my life. She blew up as like a meme. Really? But she became famous. She was like, you know, a girl on Doctor Phil that was like misbehaving and it was all like okay we're gonna talk you straight and get you in some program you've seen those like troubled teen things yeah, yeah I've watched Dr. Phil right. but I'm this particular girl maybe I must have missed her but she, yeah, but you she, didn't, you're not missing much don't worry <laughs> but she got famous blew up from these memes and her little like catchphrases right mm -hmm. and you have to be 18 to do all the fans obviously uh, but the minute she turned 18 she made an OnlyFans she's the top paid are only you I think she made a million in a day kidding yeah. me one day it's wild wow which is pretty uh it's kind of impressive. Like, it's interesting that some people kind of, you know, shame people that do OnlyFans. And it's kind of the thing that I say here and I go, well, it only feels shameful if you don't make money on it. You know I what I mean? I like, when people are making that much money, I'm like, the, I the get shameful, it. The shamefulness comes from the old stigma of, like, women who express themselves are whores in any way. Uh, I don't agree with it. I you know what that, I mean? What's wrong with it? Who cares? I feel like it's embarrassing if you make an OnlyFans and it doesn't make money. That's more embarrassing oh, to oh me my God. than to that, have that's one. That's anything. That's like, that's like have have deleting your <laughs> selfie after one, like, I get that. I mean. I'm still stuck on feet. Like, people just oh, post feet. feet? I thing. always, I think that the feet thing, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's as easy as people think it is. Like, it's not. It's not just like, oh, I just put a picture on my foot. There's no way. Guys are dogs. They want to talk to you. They want you to do more with it. <laughs> they want, they want it to get gross. I guarantee. Oh, so you get people what they want to see. Kinda. Probably. Like, I don't yeah. think, like, okay. I was joking around with her one day, like, you should make an OnlyFans. And I'm like, yeah. Then, then she, not me. His not her. My, my fiance. <laughs> sorry. She's off screen. <laughs> I was and, like, not me. Please um, go I, We were just messing around. We have our own podcast. We were talking about that. And I was like, it, 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 anything that sounds that easy just isn't in life, as you know. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. like, I think that the girls who take it very seriously take it very seriously. And they probably, you're going to have to do something, like, it's a thing. uncomfortable, I, I guess. I, I don't know. I it's, mean, it's kink stuff. Unless a guy just wants to pay for pictures of feet, I don't know why. It's free on the internet. I don't know why you would do that. But a specific actress, I want to see what, what, what that foot does. You know, right. I want to see what those look like in, in a pump. Or a sandal. It's a thing. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they're going for. Yeah. Well, there's the website Wikifeet. You ever heard about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, What the hell is, where have it's I like been? It's like Wikipedia, but just for feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> a what? Your feet babe. There's a feet, oh yeah, okay. The, what? So there's this thing called Wikifeet. <laughs> All right. And let's see what they look what? like. And let's people like sneakily. Take like, pictures of my feet? Well, not take pictures of it, but it's like they'll find if there's a picture. That's what that I'm here for, actually. We're going to have a photo shoot after this. Your foot Wait is a it. minute. Is oh, it yeah, rating? You want to show me before so you then, show them? No, no, no. It won't be shown what anywhere. But there's just a rating. But I can't see the pictures. No, there's, no picture. there's no pictures, but it's like people rate your feet on the yeah, site. Wicked feet. Well, I think I got ugly feet, so. It looks like you got a 4.8, it looks you're like. You're rating, yeah, you're 4.8. Out of what? Five. Five. Oh, oh. You're high. Beautiful feet is what they said. You got I'm it. impressed. It does not have your shoe size, though. They're trying to figure it out. Ooh, the mystery continues. But yeah, you got a beautiful, yeah, beautiful is the number one. The people vote. What? The scale is beautiful, nice, okay, bad, and ugly. How are so they, you're beautiful. How, how do they vote if there's no <laughs> pictures of them? I don't know. You got a good reputation. They just look it up. That's, that's good to hear. But it's I'm something so of, yeah, happy. I've, I've seen people joke around like, oh, my wiki feet rating. That's a Wiki thing. feet. That's an, that's <laughs> I learn something new every day. Isn't that crazy? Fan page, wiki feet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anything else you guys want to enlighten me with? <laughs> I know. I was like, I this think, took a turn. A wait, bit, we, I, I mean, the feet thing is, uh, that seems so tame to me now compared to the fart girl. Uh, this girl yeah. sold her farts in a jar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's, that's pretty extreme. Yeah. I don't even want to begin to ask. There you how go. Is that I mean, I'm trying to find the wiki fart page. That's what I want to know. I mean, imagine People what that rating would be like. You can't even get. You have to sniff a cushion or something after someone left to get that. I don't. Oh I don't know what. God. I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hey, to each their own. Okay. To each their own. People like that's what gotta they be, like. I feel bad. That's a bad one to have. I feel bad if that's what your kink is. But you know, 
I think there's do. much worse ones. <laughs> there's know. probably worse ones. Yeah, there's, right. wi- there's wild stuff on the internet, but yeah, yeah, OnlyFans is the is the thing now. I think this is the first podcast that I'm completely shocked with <laughs> with what we've learned. You're welcome. I know. I'm like we covered weddings and Game of Thrones and Wikifeet. We really made a full circle on this yeah. one. I wish I knew how we got from that girl's question to Wikifeet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this all came up, honestly. I was like, we'll talk about weddings. And I was like, well, all right, here we are. But that's the beauty of a pod. You don't know where it's going to go. Well, that is it for us. And uh, you have a show literally next week. Yes. When this comes out. Mm -hmm. And where is it? It's in Morristown at the uh, Mayo Mayo Performing Arts Center in Morristown, New Jersey. Two shows. The first one's pretty much sold out. But the second show, as of this recording, there's... There's seats, so you should come to the show. Yeah. It's a good time. I'm coming. Go yes. check them out. Yeah. Can't wait. Eric D'Alessandro. Very, very funny. You'll be Make a sure married man by then. I will be, yes. Yeah, there you go. Well, thank you for coming on. And thank you so guests. much for having me, guys. Thank yes. you. And if you guys want to email us a question, please don't email us your feet. We're okay. Uh, or do and don't <laughs> judge them. <laughs> it's what's up, cuz pod at gmail.com. That's what's up, cuz pod at gmail.com. So we will see you all next season. This is our last of season two. So next season, we'll see you guys in a couple months. Bye. Until next time.